Hi everyone, so today I'm going to do the hair tag. I have seen Kayla from Optimala do this a long time ago and I figured I was going to do this one for my vlogtober. Now, I think I'm going to touch my hair a lot this video because I never really wear my hair loose, especially not if I can look at myself in the camera, so... My apologies. There's like a fluffy thing, go away. Fluffy. Okay, first question. When was the first time you got your hair cut? Now, I don't really remember my really first time. The first time I do remember, I... It's quite a story, I'm gonna tell you guys. Uh, my hair was really long when I was six or seven years old. My hair was like, to the, down my back, to like almost to my butt. And I remembered I saw a girl from my school who caught her hair like really short, like bop. Like that was, the bob was the, the hype of that moment. And I really badly wanted to get that cut. And I asked my mom, and she was like, no, I like your long hair, I like putting it in a ponytail, I like putting it in a wig, you're not going to get it cut. And I was so mad at her that I took a piece of gum that I was chewing on, and I put it like on the back of my head, like somewhere like right over here, somewhere right behind my ear. And like somewhere, I put the gum like right there, and then I cut it straight through the gum, so it was, I, put, I cut a part of my hair off, and like, there was still gum on this side, there was still gum on that side. And... Then I went to my mom, mom, I, I put gum in my hair and then I cut it and I was still in there. Ugh. And my mom made an appointment with the hairdresser and she had to take it out, like the rest of the gum out with the peanut butter. And then I kind of said, oh, could you just make it like level? Just make a bob. <laughs> That's kind of how it went. And my mom never found out that I did it on purpose. Like she thought it was an accident, but it wasn't. I just really badly wanted to get my hair short. When was the first time you got your hair colored? Um, that was actually when I started making YouTube videos, um, so I was about 21, I think, and I really always wanted to dye my hair blonde, and I decided to, like, go with highlights. So I first started with, like, blonde highlights, and then as my appointments, like, every six weeks, it would go blonde or blonde or blonde until I was completely blonde. Um, hair products you cannot live without. Um, it's a, po a protein... You? I don't know how to explain it. Um, I have like a shampoo and a conditioner and then after... Excuse me. <laughs> and after um, I wash my hair and I towel dry it, I put protein in it. And it's basically just like this oily, liquidy stuff that you put in and it will stop my hair from frizzing and it's really soft and really shiny. Hair products you regret buying. Oh, when I was 13 or 14, there was this big hype about these little color boxes like they would wash out every single time you wash your hair the color would fade off and they had like different colors had, like orange and purple and pink and blonde and brown and dark like black and i tried a few of the colors like i tried orange and purple i think and those were pretty cool like especially because i had red hair and um, orange just made it like lighter and purple just made it a little bit more like aubergine and then i tried black and that's not a good combination if you have white skin. I look like a zombie. And I did it on a Friday night. Or like a Friday afternoon, like right after school. And I like, washed my hair like 10 times that weekend. Because I did not want to go to school with black hair. I looked horrible. I looked like a zombie. What color would you like to dye your hair next? I really don't want to dye my hair right now. After I went blonde, I went brown. And then um, I kind of have like this fake red, like this the flamey red, and then I went back to my own hair color. And right now I kind of like it, I kind of like it. You can still see the bottom of my hair is still like brown. It, it hasn't really like completely grown out yet. And I really badly wanted my own hair color back and yeah, maybe around Christmas I will get some like down lights, like some darker uh, strains in my hair and some red, those red flames again. But um, I'm not really sure. I really like my own hair color right now. I'm really pleased that it's coming back. <laughs> Six. What color have you always wanted to dye your hair? Blonde. I don't know. For some reason, I always thought that if I, if my hair was a blonde, that I could like wear more colors, like clothing-wise. I I don't know. I just never. If I go shopping, then I always look at what color um, dress should I pick. Like if they have different colors, I'm like. Yeah, I cannot wear that clothing either because that would like clash with my hair. Like I love, to, I would love to wear pink. I cannot wear pink. It would look horrible. 
I can go for purple and I can go for like green, like I can go for earthy colors. Everything that's not like an earthy color will look horrible on me. Next products you re really want to buy. I want to buy like a curling wand or maybe a roller, something that will make my curls. Because I, I like semi curly hair. I want to have like big wavy curls, especially if my hair gets longer. That was what I want. So that's going to be like my next buy. What hyped up products that have never worked for you? Um, probably hair gel. Yeah, hair gel. Or like hairspray, like something to like fix your hair. No matter what I use, it will not stay put unless it's wax. Um, especially when I have like this big mohawk thing going on, like short hair mohawk. I have to use wax. Like no hairspray, no gel will work for that. Hairspray kind of could work, I guess, if it's just my like my bangs. But then I have to like use a lot and I used to use curling or the straightening as well. Else it will not like stay in place. Like I have to do it multiple times, like straight um, hairspray, straightening, hairspray, straightening, high spray. Then it kind of stays in place, but usually and um, that doesn't really work for me. What do you think about extensions? I don't like them. I just have this image, like people who use them, and this is no offense if you do use them, but every single person that uses them that I know personally, they're kind of, um, I don't know, how do I say that nicely? Dumb and uh, very um, platonic, I guess. I don't know, they're very fall out in their emotions, very, they, they don't have like a, any deep thoughts going on, they're quite shallow. So yeah, I don't know, that's the image I have of them, that's why I would never do that, I don't know. I'm so sorry, I hope no one's watching is like, I have hair changes, I'm not shallow, I'm sorry. It's just, that's the image I have of that, so. One hair rule that you never follow. Um, I don't know if there's any like, hair rules, I don't know, I think maybe like the amount of times I wash my hair. Um, I wash my hair about once, sometimes twice a week. It's not a lot. My hair is not like, greasy that often. It's very used to not being washed every other day, so that's not something I'm doing. Um, and I kind of like it because it means like I can just quickly hop in and out of the shower under, like every day, and not have to worry about like how I'm gonna do with my hair, how I'm gonna like style it. I think it has to be dried before I go out. Like I can just hop in the shower with my hair like put up and I only have to wash it once or twice a week and actually have to like deal with blow drying it and styling it and whatever. Do you use vitamins to improve your health of your hair? If so, have they worked for you? Before I got pregnant I used this multivitamin, I still have them. Um, it's for good condition of your hair, skin and nails and it contains like calcium, magnesium and a lot of other gooey stuff. And once I took it, I noticed like my nails were like rock hard and my skin was like softer and my hair was like, I would say like sturdier, like it had more texture to it. So it would like hold uh, a certain style better. And then I got pregnant and I switched to a multivitamin for pregnant people and um, I never used, I never noticed a change with like how my hair was or how my skin was or how my nails were holding up. And now I'm on like this postpartum vitamins and still no difference. Who is your hair idol? I really don't have one. I didn't even know hair idols exist. Um, usually when I want to like have a change of hairstyle, I look in magazines, I'm like this is what I want and sometimes it's just like a model like trying to show off clothes or sometimes it's like an actual hair style or something. And now I have like a hairstyle that really gets me. And I go to her like, every, like religiously like every three months now. And she kind of has her own ideas. So now I trust her. So I just go sit in the chair and I'm like, yeah, I want to grow out my hair because I want my hair to go like really long to the point where like touching my boobs. And so I'm like, yeah, just, you know, as long as it's healthy, just cut off what needs to get off, get up, get off, cut off. Blah. So I just cut off what needs to be cut off and then just create a style that I can wear it. And that's what she does. And when I want it to go shorter, I'm just gonna be like, cut it off. I want to have hair to like, hair, and figure it out because she just knows what works. So I trust her. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye everyone.